The All Seeing Guys podcast is part of Britpod Scene, an independent network of uniquely British podcasts that's always growing. Check out BritpodScene.com or follow Britpod Scene on Twitter to find out more. Welcome to the Seeing guys, that just cut out abruptly there, didn't it? Thing is, I realised during the intro there, yes, that this episode will probably be Christmas. Oh God, really? It, it'll go out. I think, on my, my calculations are correct, on the 18th of December. But yes, this is a, we just realised it will be Christmas, fuck so it's going to be a Christmas themed episode. No, well, fuck yeah, because usually, I'm, mate, I'm still in. Mate, I don't care that I'm out of retail. I still think fuck Christmas. Yeah, well, yeah, we, Lizzie, we'll look, we'll doing um. She wants a Christmas tree. Obviously, we, we're staying in the house now, and like it's Indiana's now like one. Well, she's like thirteen months. So this Christmas, she still don't know what's going on, which is going to be more running oh, yeah, around, she's, and excited, she's and gonna playing be, with stuff. She's going to be hyped. She's going to have you know. She's going to have... be colourful shapes exactly. to unwrap. Yeah, it's going to be a busy day. She's going to get loads of toys. Loads of... She's going to play with all the paper. Like, but all she's really wanting to do is going to play with tampons. That's all she does. Yeah, no, fair she enough. Just picks up, tampons, picks up tampons, puts them in my bag. Like she's ah. trying to eat them. So you're uh, raising some crazy. sort of feminist, Greg. It's crazy. <laughs> um, yeah, eating tampons. I don't. We don't need these. Down with tampons. Um, Are these biodegradable? But we were out with Lizzie, obviously, because we're staying in the hat. We got a house, so we're gonna be like a family. Is that your? Is that your birthday and Christmas present? Yeah, you go. <laughs> and Lizzie was like, oh, "I want to get a Christmas tree." And I've been really humbug about the whole thing. Just like, yeah, fine. We'll get. We want to get one. Well, I mean, you got your own house. You kind and of like, have to. And don't we, we went to M and S to look at some. Obviously, because Gary works there, yeah. my brother. And um, Lizzie's like, oh, this one. I just kept being like, it's too big. So no, it's not. I was like, it's too tall, it's too fat. Like, I was being so like... And talk to it. your wife like that. No, I wasn't. <laughs> 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 Fucking asshole. She's like, I'll be like this one. And, I, I, and then after a while, I was just like, just get the one you want. Like I, I started becoming aware that I just was showing very little interest yeah. in getting a tree. When really, I should be... Well, Lizzie's all like excited, like, we're getting a tree. It's our yeah, house. Yeah, yeah. And I was just like, yeah, whatever one you want. Like, ah, and then she'll pick one. Right? It's too wide. It's too big. <laughs> What about I kept being like, what about this? Just been like royally pissing her yeah. off just oh, the entire yeah, yeah. time. I was just like, what about this one? This nice one. It's like half the size of me. <laughs> like, this one's perfect. She's like, what? No, sh- fuck off. <laughs> I'm not getting that one. That's a fucking ornament. And I'm just like, oh, God, do we need a tree? That's like... a Christmas tree. That's a Christmas tree decoration. That's... And, I, and I felt bad because like, when she was like off looking and I kind of stood to the side of Indiana just not caring. Yeah. I did start thinking and I was like, oh, maybe I should be more. Like, I get it. I get why he's excited, you know, like in general, experience a bit more, a bit yeah, older, yeah, got yeah. in place, like fucking, you know, I get it. Or maybe I should stop being so, no. but then she'll still like, what's you with this one? And I'd be like, yeah, it's all right. <laughs> like, <laughs> but so it's like, bad. it's no, it's just one of those like. And it's a full things. swing in Kingston now at Christmas. Oh, they yeah. were turning the lights on when I was there that day. They, yeah, all the, again, huts, all the huts are I out. must specify, we're, we're, no, this is obviously Christmas. This was happening. Me and Lizzie went shopping for trees yesterday, which was the... 15th of uh, November. You're hideous. Hideous people. Like, well, should we didn't buy it. We're just looking. We're not buying it. Yeah, yet. yeah, yeah, Greg. I've heard it all before. Just looking. People, I've seen trees up already. Can we... The um, lights went on can, yesterday. Can, can we please go to the Christmas market and get those, uh, if they are there, those... Um, fucking... What was it? It's like the, the roast. It's it's the roast in a... Oh, I did that. The um, But it's like a burrito. Last year, we met uh, Callum and Amy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we had, I mean, we, me and Lizzie had to wait. So I think we just got food while we were waiting. And yeah, Indiana was young, man. She was like a month, not even that, maybe about a young, month or so. Yeah. And we went and got the yeah, the roast dinner in the Yorkshire Hood wrap. Uh, mate, I've got, yeah. I need that in my life. You tried it? You don't have nah, one? Nah, it was I good. It wasn't it. as good as I thought it would be, but it was good. No, nah, I'll check that out, though. Mm. It's good. You know what annoyed me recently? I got a burrito at the, uh, at the Waterloo. <laughs> no Waterloo, Waterloo Station. I've heard of that place. Yeah. And um, I, was, I was watching them making it and shit, and they they put it like <laughs> they're super fucking stingy now, man. They've got like oh, a, yeah. they've got a weight 
They've got a weight uh, thing where they like they put the they put the wrap on the weight. That's she. And then they like add on like the rice and they're like, oh, okay. And then they put on the meat and they're just like, oh, can't have too much of that. Like, and it's oh, that's she. Cheap shit, man. Yeah, that is she. I don't like. You want that. It, I, I like my uh, burritos free poured, mate. Yeah, I want it to be. I don't want there to have to be like a weight limit to the yeah, amount yeah. of shit that you're gonna fucking put. Yeah, in free there. pour my burritos, bitches. Yeah, please. Fuck. Yeah. What's your yeah. Uh, What's your choosing of uh, burrito filling? <laughs> I don't know. I mix it up. Sometimes I'm beef and chicken. Oh, yeah? yeah? I sometimes go... I go chicken or pork. I don't really go pork. Do you go beef or chicken? <laughs> with, um, no, no, is it, is the, it's the Jew in you. I'm it? quite... Because obviously I don't like sad and shit in mine. Yeah, no, fair enough. So I'm just more everything else. Yeah. Cheese. I want all the meats, all the cheeses, all the rice, all the fucking sauces. get a double one. She get a double, a double meat. I actually... It gets a little shit, I know, especially in America, but the... Uh, was it the chipper, chipper Chipo- Chipotle? Chipotle. 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 I used to like going to Chipotle. <laughs> you just like chip, uh, chip, chip, chip. I remember chip, going chip, to. I remember years ago going to one with Lee and Johan. Shout out to Lee and Johan. Um, we met up with them and we went to get a burrito. And I don't think I'd actually probably really had a burrito before. Yeah. Not like out. Like I didn't really knew. I didn't know it was a thing. You went and had a burrito. Mm. And I was like, I don't know. I'm not gonna like it because I just I don't like sad. It was always yeah, a thing yeah. when I was younger, like about not eating sad and stuff. It would just ruin most places I went to go eat. So I'd have to be like, can I have it with cri- my crippling anxiety mixed in with it? Can I have it without the salad? I hate asking. Yeah, no, um, you feel like it's, it's too it's too much to even ask. Even though it, it saves them salad, like it's for stupid. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. Like You're thinking about them saving salad. Yeah, I know. Like um, <laughs> They're not concerned about the salad, Craig. <laughs> but yeah, we went, we went to that place. I had a burrito and I, do, you know, I just kind of fought, followed the person in front. And it was like so fucking good. And I was like, wow, this is great. To the point where I've gone back there. I took Jack there once. Yeah. Me and Jack went out of town. And he, again, hadn't had one in years. Like, And we went there to have one. Um, completely forgot the point. Oh, yeah. Theirs, I've not been for a while. But when I used to go to theirs, theirs were pretty fat, man. Theirs were big. Yeah. And I used to be like, no standard, but I want all this. And they'd always get, and they'd be really friendly. And always, you, you know, you can tell they're all asked to make a compliment. Yeah, of course. Because I would get there the first one and be like, wow, your t-shirt's great. And I remember it was my Johnny Five t-shirt. Yeah, fuck off, And they were just like, wow, what a great t-shirt. I was like, thank you. And then you get the next person. Well, your hat's really cool. And I'm like, okay. You know, You've got to... eyes. And then you get to the third person. And I was like, oh, man, what trainers you got on? They're really cool. It's, like, <laughs> it's just like, it's, it's getting more and more patronizing the yeah. further I go down the line. It's like, oh, don't do that. Hey, man, what cool burrito. <laughs> what a cool burrito you're going to order. What's going in it? I think... Um, I remember when me and Jack walked to Richmond and I was just like, mate, it'll be great. We'll get there, right? I know there's, I know there's a Mexican restaurant there and we'll get there. We'll go, going to have some like fucking burritos and a couple of cocktails and then we'll just go and fucking drink. It'll be fine. So we walked to Richmond and then we get to the restaurant. It's just a tortilla. <laughs> <laughs> But it was oh. still great though. We had frozen margaritas. Oh, I thought you went tacos. to. I thought you went to the other place and what had place? and had the meat stuff. Then you thought you went to the pub and had the. Um, you went to that meat place and I thought instead. Huh? I thought you went somewhere else instead of that instead of tortilla. I thought you and Jack walked to um, Richmond and you went to some like meat pub or something. You had like some wings meat or ribs. Pub. Maybe I'm thinking of the time you went to Teddington or something. Oh no, that's when we walked to Teddington. We went right. to that. Uh, what's it called? Ribs and right. burgers. Yeah. And we got like a we got like a burger each, and then we got like a plate of like lamb ribs because right. I'd never had lamb ribs. Right, and I figured yeah, okay. they would be amazing. Were they? And they were they were fucking great. Yeah, yeah. they were really great. Herbie and like oh, we should arrange going out for a, a food thing like that. We should do a take, food take, thing. Take the zoo. We should absolutely we should do, do a food thing. Maybe and then if, that could be the beginning of crikey. That's maybe food. if we go to Christmas market, we'll take a mic. We'll take the zoom mic. But yeah, we should definitely go. I like that. We should definitely go to some sort of food place. It's been a while. Oh well, I had the we. I said to you, suggested the idea of doing the the the, the food and booze going around, around Waterloo Waterloo. Station. I'll be well up for that. That'd be great because there's be well like up so that. many shots. Like up on that top level, there's loads yeah, of options yeah, yeah, and shit. Yeah, 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 I think that'd be yeah, interesting. I'll be up for doing that. There's a cool few bars around there as well. Yeah, around yeah, the um, work out, around the station, a few spots around as well. You can go to because there's all that like um, there's that little walkway bit as well where there's like I've seen them sort of like say like they've got like a neon sign that says something along the lines of like beer meat and oh jazz. yeah there's a few places around there yeah 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 <laughs> easy to go fucking and then there's around. like uh, bloody are you alright yeah of course I am just a bit fucking gassy <laughs> I've been Get drinking all boy. afternoon it's true it's true um, I've been drinking all afternoon at 2 o'clock I know it's 3 o'clock fucking hell where's the time go these days isn't it <laughs> <laughs> bloody hell I mean I got here like Half ten. Then we went to the shop. Then we, we had bacon shop. baguettes. We had bacon baguettes. Then we listened that was to an beats hour. and fucking listened to, you know. listened to instrumentals. Yeah, and then we spent ages setting up the equipment because I was being real, stupid, <laughs> realizing that things were awry. Yeah, exactly. So you know, we, yeah. we we've done it to ourselves. That's all right. Welcome to episode ninety three. <laughs> 
<laughs> the All Seeing Guys podcast. <laughs> Man. Should we do some geese dropping? Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's do some I have just dropping. found a fuckload from oh, have the you? Uh, from the all the uh, the the all seeing open powers guys. Oh, shout out the open, open all powers, powers guys. Gaz Merry and Sam. Christmas, Gaz and Sam of Oldham. Merry Christmas, to- Merry Christmas, Gaz and Sam. You there, of boys? Oldham. What day that's is this? The Badger geese dropping. Of course, is when we hear snippets of overheard conversation by everyone. <laughs> Everyone, everyone, kick off, Joe. What you got? Uh, so these uh, these first few are from Sam from the Open All Powers. Yes, dropping uh, these in WhatsApp to us. This is a this is a lengthy one here, but I like it. Uh, I was waiting uh, at a bar, and the two guys next to me were ordering. Nice guy one. What do you want? Guy two. I love a pint of sangria. Guy one. A pint of sangria. What guy two? Yes. Guy one. A pint of sangria. Really? Guy two. Yes, a pint of sangria. Points at the beer tap. Guy one to the bartender. Can I get a pint of San Miguel, please? (laughs) 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 Um. (laughs) (laughs) Fucking idiot. Now, I don't know. No, here's the thing, though. What if that guy genuinely wanted a pint of sangria? His mate was embarrassed to order it and just said, just get him a San Miguel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this next one, nice and simple. I like it. Old couple in town. Woman to the man. Ian, just stop fucking around. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell, Ian? Sort it out, Ian. What's he up to? Uh, and, then, uh, and then finally here as well, um, again from Sam, two young girls at the train station. One says to the other, I sent him some nudes days ago and he hasn't said anything to me yet. He better be fucking wanking over them and not ignoring me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know he's sharing them all to his friends, I'm afraid. Always. All if, you get sent, if you get sent Jesus. a nude. Yes, I've seen them. It's great. If you get sent a nude, respond. Yes, please. Fuck. Uh, my geese drops. <laughs> my one was, uh, I was, found during the summer, I think I was walking from Kingston to meet Ed in Surbiton. And there was like, the benches were full of people who had been sat there. It was like kind of an like evening, it was still sunny. And there was some old dude who I think we sat there quite a while and he had like a glass of wine, but like right down where there's no bars. Mm. So he'd bought the bottle of wine and glass himself and was kind of sat on the bench. And there was some woman. That's, mate, that's some high class, like yeah, public cool. drinking, you, you isn't it? You see it quite a lot around that's down some, there. I'm up that. I'm there, up that. And there, and there, up and there was a, a, there was a woman sat on the other bench, a bit of the same sort of age, probably in their like 60s, maybe 70s. Yeah. Woman sat on the other bench, and I just saw the guy. I don't even know if he was with her. Just lean over, to kind of, so she could t- to the woman on the other bench, and just said to her, "Yes, it was diarrhea." That's <laughs> <laughs> all I heard. As all part, just him leaning know, over. I want to know. It what, was diarrhea. I want to know what the question was. <laughs> now, this geese drops hard without context, but I'm just going to say the geese drop first. Okay. A woman shouting in the middle of H and M in Kingston. They are fighting. And a voice shout back from the, someone queuing up, go, who? There was basically a bunch of Korean school kids in loads of them in H&M, like it was a fucking school trip. <laughs> and a fucking, like, they were like a bunch of them, like, play fighting in the middle. Yeah. Like, about three or four of them are play fighting. Yeah. And I can only imagine, I don't know whether this woman was, like, their teacher, but she wasn't Korean, or, like, someone looking after them while they were here, or just She's some... had a flock or, of or, Korean children. Or just children. some woman who saw them and was just like, oh, that's naughty, like, just nothing to do with them at all. But she literally walked over to them and started, like, having a go at them. I am shocked and appalled. She started having a go at them, and they were, like, pushing each other, and then she just shouted to someone, just shouted into the air, they're fighting! And I imagine her husband, who, or someone who was in the queue, was like, Who? And she was like, the children. And he was like, what? <laughs> like, the children, I don't darling. Think the she children. Had, I don't think she had anything to do with them. I think she just intervened with these kids play fighting stop, in the middle stop of Stop that H&M. at once. Stop that at once. Would you stop all that fighting, please? This is H&M of all places. Henny's and Maurits. <laughs> <laughs> Spoken like a true former employee. Blood, don't make me go old school. <laughs> Um, I I have one more here as well. This was sent by Gaz yes. of the Open All Powers, and uh, it's, it's a nice little recording. So I didn't have to. I, he's he's done it all for me. Excellent. So I'm just going to press play. Making it too easy for him. I forgot to tell you guys. Um, I was in the co-op the other day, and I heard this geese drop. Uh, there were two members of staff talking to each other. A bloke and a woman. A bloke says to the woman. Uh, 
oh, what was it? Oh, yeah, this was it. So he goes, uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to promote Eileen to supervisor. That ought to shake things up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I really want to know if it shook things up. I want to know about the inner dramas yeah. of that co-op. Yeah, I want, I want to know that. Eileen being my supervisor really shook things yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I bet it did. I bet, she, I bet she's hated. I bet she's, I bet she's the kind of bitch that's rolled in there and she's doing all the early shifts now. Yeah, So yeah. she gets to go home at three. Yeah, yeah. I bet, I bet she's disliked by the rest of the team. She's put Rajesh on the light, or like, yeah, on like yeah, literally yeah. night shifts for two weeks. <laughs> that's fucked up. She's just coming in with big ideas and everyone hates her and they're trying to ask her to leave. Everyone, you know, everyone's telling she, me to sack Eileen. She I'm going to insisted her. that they started playing Christmas music in October. That's how it works, man. Fucking Eileen. She's shaking I, things up all right. I remember this guy. Shaking it right to I the shit in dog I know house. I mentioned it previously, but I remember working when I worked in the supermarket, this guy come in in Mohammed and uh, he was like part time, but he took it mega seriously. Whereas me and Lee would like throw hula hoops out of windows, you know, like, fucking, <laughs> like, 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 and we were supervisors. Standard, yeah. I mean, we were supervisors. We were just fucking t- like, just didn't give a fuck. Like, cause we were like fucking kids. And he was, he was like in university. How are they like, going to let kids be supervisors? It was like his man. first year. By some amount of customers in arguments. Be like, this place is run by kids. And it was. We were. We was definitely run no, by fucking kids. Fucking right. Lost boys, bitch. Man, it was like Grange Hill up in that fucking <laughs> shop, man. All the fucking storylines going on between all the different fucking cashiers who were sleeping with who and who was telling me what and what notes I was passing from Could till you, to till. Can you imagine being a child who grew up watching Grange Hill and then yes. one day tuning into Grange Hill and the theme tune has changed. Oh, I'll be, be done. Pandemonium, yeah, be mate. gone. Panic on the be streets. Gone. There was a point I was making about this. Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah so Mohammed. this guy came in, and he hadn't been there that long, and he was like made like a like quite high up really quick because he was a dick, and no one liked him. The boss was like, I want to promote him. Yeah, of course. And he did. And my God, it, he was... Oh, I remember like I had to like scan all these cigarettes, and he, I'd been told the wrong thing to do, and I had an hour to do it. And I've been doing it wrong for like 40 minutes. Oh, man. And I remember he came over and was like, what are you doing? And I was like, oh, he asked me to do this. And he's like, no, you're doing that wrong. He's like, oh. He's like, I told you now to do this. You've been doing this 40 minutes. So you're all right, mate. And he's like, all right, you know what? I'm not giving you any extra time to do this. You've got to do it from the beginning. And I'm like, what, in 20 fucking minutes? That's not happening, mate. It's like, taking mate, me this long to do it wrong. I remember being like, mate, an hour was pushing it. Like, <laughs> and he's just like, no, I'm not extra time. I'm going to go tell the boss right now. And I was like, oh, fuck off. Jesus Christ. I just just that mentality of putting someone like that in charge yeah. and just being just like You're a ball bag. <laughs> fucking putting a dick move like that on you. Fucking, it's fucking Hey man, we were equals once, man. Fuck yeah. you. Yeah, not, you not, were below me at one point. I'm not bitter or anything. I hope he does well for himself. <laughs> He's probably still there. No, I don't know. It's not Summerfield isn't, Summer, but he is. Yeah, <laughs> Summer, Summer, yeah works in M and Co now, which is there instead. <laughs> Worked his way up to logistics manager. Oh, good times. I wish I remembered more about it. I know I talk about it a lot. I wish I remembered more. There were so many. I might write a book about it one day, interview everyone. <laughs> Just like we'll the, get him on for the, the podcast. The crazy goings on. The fucking, Greg Armstrong. The Summerfield years. It was honestly, it was such a weird transition. <laughs> Last of the Summerfield wine. It was such a perfect job in terms of like my transition from like school to adulthood. Uh. Because it was just like... It still was kind of like a school, the childish shit that went on between full grown adults. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The childish shit that went on. I was part of it, but I was a kid myself. And like the gossip and like the, the fucking, the, the, the affairs, the fucking love romances, the it jealousy, really, the anger. No, it's like, like a whole, it is like an absolutely like, new world because but, like you go, you've. But with adults. Yeah, yeah. And it's me, so weird. And, and not in that, just me also being like, oh, I'm not in school, school anymore. I'm not that. Kid. It's not. It's a I, different. It's I'm, different there, to a teacher. There's now multiple women here that I could potentially talk to, get talk to, and maybe more with. Like it's weird. <laughs> like, 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 no, like, I know what you mean. Like though. they would let me do that to them, and it's weird because it's, it's a they weird want it. situation I'm in. Like this is a because weird because I'm an thing. attractive teenager. Wow, and I'm dealing with public, the public, and there's fights and sex and rock and roll. It is and, like because like you obviously the only the only like grown ups you knew from then was your parents and your teachers. Whereas these ones, they were like, they were, were the they were grown ups, yeah. but yeah. like they were your mates, and it was yeah. weird. Yeah, that, that's it. Yeah, that is it. Yeah, it's just like this is fucking odd. Yeah, that is a good way of putting it. Actually, it's so like it's a really bizarre like transition. I mean, you... I was working in I was working in a kitchen. Right, there you go. So all I had was these fucking chefs all talking about 
fucking shit like and just uh, just a constant and i was just like jesus christ man these guys are worse than me you know? yeah oh I mean, yeah i mean me just being flung in the world where i was surrounded by yeah to say people of all ages all walks of life ah. all different cultures and fucking it was insane like it was such a weird bizarre just yeah just weird situation to be in just quite early on being in a, having a job for the first time and just being like wow i'm now in Surrounded by adults, and I'm going out and getting drunk with them, and I'm 16. This is this is cool. Like, I remember the restaurant I worked at because they used to hire a lot of like, um, like South Africans, Australians, people that were just here for travel. Yeah, yeah of course, that's it. Yeah, um, but wanted a job. Yeah, so they could live in as well. Mm. So there was a massive upstairs bit that had like 10, 15 rooms. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So all the chefs lived there, all the waitresses and all that. So they would all party and afterwards. I was the weekend kid. I'd come in and do like 12 till 4 and then like half 11 till half 5 on the Sunday. I never saw this shit until I started doing one evening shift a week. Why? And I started to get glimpses of life behind the scenes. And I was just like, yo, this place is fucking lit, mate. Like, this place <laughs> is wild, man. <laughs> fucking getting hearing like stories of just like fucking there's like there was like two two girls had the night off, like they uh from waitressing, they came back drunk and were just in the kitchen, just like fucking kissing the chefs and shit. And I was just like Tonight's the night. Tonight's the night. Tonight's the night. <laughs> I'm gonna have sex with one of the waitresses. I was just like, I, I, was, it, I, I, was, I was the youngest kid there, man. I was like 16, 17. Wow. Everyone else was like 19, 20, and onwards. Right, okay. And I was just like, fucking hell, man. Like, it was madness there. It was absolute chaos. Yeah, it's weird that we just so accustomed. I mean, I, I mean, maybe it's because it was just a supermarket on a high street that I just encountered so many crazy people. Yeah. And like, just became entwined in their lives was like, for like a few years. Mate, even now, like, whilst, we're, whilst we're out, every just, now and again, you'll be like, remember that guy from Summerfield? Yeah, yeah, like, it's oh, weird. Fuck like, I know. It's like, I've been to that, his guy's, that guy's house. Like, I've had fucking, to deny sex from that guy's wife. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Things like that. Like, like I've, I've been in odd, so, so many crazy situations with these people, and now I'm just like, oh, God, it's that guy that I spoke to all the time. When I like, was... When I was like 17, that was a massive like eye-opening fucking year for me. Because that was like me being at a job and realizing that shit was not all as it seems. Yeah. And yeah. then like I started going out. My friend had a fucking three week long party when we were like 17, 18 years old. Was that that opened my eyes. Huh? Was that Matt? Nah, it was our friend Rob. All right. His parents went away. We just had a party for three weeks. I've heard the stories. <laughs> Matt was there though, right? Matt was... Uh, Matt was around, yeah, right, definitely. Okay. I definitely met Matt that sort of same similar sort of time, and um, me and Matt met at a party, and then we went back to a friend's house, and he got so drunk that he had to use my phone to communicate with people, but like in the room. What I had to call people? No, he had to just write down what he wanted to say. How could he write but not talk? That's he hard. Mate, his, he, 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 he'd been carrying around this two liter bottle but of cider. But how was he able to write? Was it he could, he, he could use a phone to like write what he wanted to say. He just couldn't fucking talk properly. Right, like, that's weird. It was fucked, mate. He was like, super fucked. He had like a two liter bottle of cider and a bottle of Jack Daniels. It's like being out with Stephen Hawkins, like back in the day, yeah, before, the we, before, we had the, before we had the voice controller. <laughs> I would like to have sex with you. <laughs> yeah, but even before then, just like read what I'm saying. So there was, yeah, no, it was, um, it, it, it's that sort of thing where, as I said, you know, I was, I was at my job and it was a kind of a new environment and there was all this kind of sort of shit going on. And then like, I started going out and it was when I went to this party, it was kind of when I started to realize just like, oh, okay. There's girls. Uh, <laughs> girls. Girls are here. And they potentially might want to kiss me. <laughs> that was a new that was a new experience for me as a 17-year-old. Yeah, I, I get I went, what you mean. I went through fucking school not getting any attention. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. And then you're like, it's happening, it's fucking happening. That's this it. woman's an idiot. She's on. kissing me. It's going on. It's happening, it's finally happening. It's ha oh, I'm having one. I've met somebody with low standards. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I but knew yeah. they existed. It was a wild time, man. I knew, I knew it existed. 17 and 18, I got all my attention. Because I kind of started system. experiencing it in sixth form. Yeah. When I started like, when I started meeting girls and like being able to come to sixth form and be like, oh, I don't have to be this fucking person I was in year 10 or nine. Going, like, going to like college, like separate to like going to a completely different yeah. college away from school was a massive thing for me. Yeah. So I was just like, oh, I can be myself and yeah. not care. Whereas mine was in sixth form, still at my school, mixed amongst three other schools. So you did go to other schools. But so there was some lessons I had like with girls in other uh, classes. No, I didn't do anything of those. I just kind of got, that's why I met Stephanie, one of my oldest friends. Like yeah. my friend Stephanie, I only good friends of her because we were in the same English class in sixth form. Like, 
and we were the ones that would always just get in trouble. We'd be talking all the time. We'd get separate in sixth form. We would be like told to sit getting separated, getting separated, man. Like me and my mate, me and my mate Phil used to do like uh, we had to retake GCSE maths like two years running because we just fucking sucked it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But the entire time we just dicked around, yeah. man. Like just all the, the time. If maths especially, I was exactly the fucking same. Yeah. Um, maybe lost track of what I was fucking saying then. Um, but yeah, in sixth form, it was then I started just kind of like started. Because I was working at Summerfield, I started my job while I was in while I was in sixth form. It, it builds your confidence so, up a yeah, bit, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah, so I started experiencing life a bit more, and then coming to sixth form with a bit of a different view on stuff. Like, oh, I'd be coming in fucking hungover, uh. drunk or stoned, like <laughs> just being like, ah, uh. <laughs> like I don't care about sociology. What a shit lesson! I'm not going to that. It's an exciting time. It's exciting time. It's confusing time. Confusing as well, yeah. And that's also when you started teachers started talking to you a bit nicer. Yeah. Like, there was a difference, yeah. They started like you weren't you weren't just some kid in a uniform anymore. Yeah, yeah. Like I remember chatting to my English teacher about Jameson and Bob quite a lot. Yeah. He gave me some magazine he had of them as well. I mean like, wow. Like Rob saw him, Rob saw our English teacher in Forbidden Planet buying a Jonas and Bob graphic novel. Yeah. And he was like, What the fuck? You like James Hull and Bob? He's like, Yeah, I love him. It makes <laughs> you like, like you're an English teacher. You, you instantly <laughs> see everything from a different perspective. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As soon as you see like a teacher doing something that you consider to be fucking awesome, yeah. and then, you're just yeah. like, No fucking way. That's it, man. It's yeah. like like going to a skate park and seeing your fucking teacher doing a kickflip. Just like <laughs> no fucking way, bro. <laughs> That'd be interesting. Going to this fucking skate park and seeing your teacher doing a kickflip. Imagine that. But yeah, mate, it was just a real time. And then it's been like... Fuck learning the guitar. I'm going to learn a skateboard. Yeah, there you go. Why not? And it was the same, like, I suppose when I started Natajax. Like, when I started... Like, that was my next job after Summerfield. And that was just a whole other level. That was made. You went to the extreme. Because then one. it was, yeah. like, solely people in a sort of age bracket and a, and a walk of life that was more... Drink, Ooh. drugs, right. dance, fucking dance. <laughs> drink, not dance. Drink, drugs, fucking music, fucking gigs, fucking yeah, fucking fashion, like fucking well, street fashion, like fucking streetwear, skateboarding, yeah, like fucking. Then it was completely it's a whole new different. world. Going out like after work, like regularly, as opposed to it being like down when I went to the supermarket, like events. Oh, if someone's birthday was this or was that. Yeah, we would go out. It would be a big thing. Oh, I'm going to the pub. Yes, I remember like or drinking on the streets of Lee. I like, remember like the the two days that I worked in Natterjax. It was it was very very aware to me that there were certain people in Kingston, and by that I mean girls mm -hmm. that were just like, oh, you boys work in Natterjax. Oh, there was that yeah. could have that could have worked to my benefit if I it, was. It had its pros <laughs> and its cons because some people were like, oh, those are the guys that work in Natterjax, and other yeah. people were like, those are the fucking dickheads that work in Natterjax. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like. You'd always get a mixed reception in certain pubs, especially like the mill. So I swear everyone down there hated everyone from that, Jack. So like, yeah, but it's the mill, man. Like the yeah. mills, the mills got one of those kind of sort of like community sort of. I mean, it did it. then, yeah. I've been sure it was now, but like then, we used to go there all the time, man. I used to yeah. always go. That was one of the pubs I started going to regularly, first of all, like other than the Coronation Hall in fucking Serban. Of course, yeah. It's like going down the mill after fucking a day in that, Jack's get a burger and a beer for a fiver. Or go, down, or go down on Monday for a pound a pint. Yeah, go. Yeah. Like in pound a and pint it, night at the mill. Yeah, I remember going to a few of those. And, and we were probably down there at the same time. Yeah, like man. In, and then like ending up in backers. No. <laughs> oh man, we get end up in backers and then go to work the next fucking day. All go straight up town to fabric. But that's the thing though. Like it's it's just those things Fuck that doing like, that now. Nah, man. that's it. You grow out of it, don't you? Like you fucking. It gets to I a point where yeah. you're just like, I can't do this anymore. I can't fathom finishing work, going like we used to go to the Cox, drink loads of beers. Go to Burger King, have a Burger King, and then get on the train to fucking Fabric. Yeah. Meet everyone else there. And get in there at like 10. And then go in and then just get off our Do you have any idea tits. how annoyed I'd be if I was getting into London mate, at go, 10 o'clock? Go get off our tits. I mean, we would be fucked. I mean, my mate, I mean, I remember pissing in between carriages on the train up. Yeah, yeah. I'm all way up, like, so fucked. Get there, get off our tits, and then leave at like five, six in the morning, and then get on the train and just go straight to work. And then work a Saturday, then work a fucking Saturday, and then more than likely finish work and would go to the Ram. Yeah. It was just standard. Like, fuck. That, the thought of doing that now just fucking cripples me. Yeah. Even just. Having work, especially Saturday, the busiest oh, mate, day of I the get, week. My, my hangovers are lasting like 36 hours now. Wow, okay. Mine usually aren't that bad. I can feel a bit shit, but my hangovers don't usually last too long. 
But again, I've never really, I've been a while since I've really got myself proper fucking like drunk. Yeah. I get drunk, no wrong. I get drunk. Like, I was drunk fucking the gig. I was drunk when. Uh, I was hammered at the gig. I was drunk when we went to go see Earth Tide. But like, not like how I, how I know I've been before. Yeah, yeah. To the point where I don't, it's been a while since I've not really remembered stuff. Yeah, no, I'm, I I mean, I... It happens. My fucking memory is always shite. I, I mean, it's, 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 there's the fun element of, like, people telling me, oh, mate, do you remember when you did this? And you're like, no. no. <laughs> it is a fun element. What? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I do kind of miss that, because I, I mean, or just vaguely remembering bits or seeing messages the next day and being like, fuck, I did that. Yeah. Like, but yeah, it's been a while since I've got that kind of drunk. But like that, I mean that because, shit. Because that shit's all fun in your twenties and it's stuff, because man. If, but if like when you're in out, like your thirties and there's like you're like, oh you my know what? god! If me, you, and Ed go out, I'm not really in the mood to be like I'm gonna get smashed and then forget what's happened because after like the second beer, I'm already like, are we going back to Ed's? So we go, yeah, home? yeah. <laughs> are we going back to Ed's house or are we gonna go at home? What, what's the deal here? What's happening? Unless apart from obviously, if we go down the Cox, if me, you, and Ed have made a plan to go to the Cox, it's gonna we, be a night. We know someone going to someone's house is off the cards. Like, yeah, we're, yeah, we're yeah. Going it's gonna, we're going. We're going. That's I like what, that. That, 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 is our, that is now our going out. Out. Yeah, that's when we've committed. Whereas to, that was just usually just going out. That's when we've committed to. We're gonna get drunk. Uh-huh. Obviously, last time we went to the Cox, not. I mean, apart from the gig, when it's just me, you, and Ed. We were the ones, and Ed was the one being like, "Jesus, guys!" Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Used to be the other way around. I remember. Uh, I'd, I'd really like you and me and Ed to have like a, a, an out. Wimbledon no, night. no, no, like a Wimbledon night, but like also like just a, a, a night that we would have in the Cox, but in Surbiton. <laughs> <laughs> just fucking. Wrecked. I find it weird being that drunk in Surbiton. I know what you mean. I, I, I it's, a, it's a lot calmer. I went out with like Simon and Owen. Yeah. And like we went to Victoria, had a few drinks, then went to the Grove, and I had a few rums. And I was, I wasn't like mega fucked, but I was definitely the most drunkest I'd probably been at the Indiantel Open. I was yeah. very aware of it. Yeah. And I was trying to be funny at the bar to staff as if I knew them, and it wasn't working. And I was just like, ah, oh, I feel stupid. <laughs> you know, <laughs> like fucking. I'm going home. Like, like ah, oh, this isn't it. This isn't how I. Sh- this isn't my comfort drunk zone place. No. Like. I can't. It was the cocks. I will just. That's what worked about when Anthony and fucking um, when Ant and fucking Tom from uh, Anyway Here podcast came to see our, our, us at our gig. Yeah. Even chatting to them, every two seconds you're turning to chat to bar staff. Yeah. Uh, but Ant, uh, Tom used to work in a bar, so I think he kind of loved all that. Like, but being it, that's I like that when I'm really smashed that I don't have to feel just like I'm smashed around the staff. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, you know, like around that the cocks, I can just be like. Oh yeah, yeah, fucking it's fine. They're fine. They get it. It's laugh. You know, they know who yeah. I am. It's fine. I didn't have to ask for my beer. They'd be pouring it. It's all fun and games until you start using your dick to open doors. There you go. But doing it in like Serbian, with I just feel like I'm just being a nu- nuisance drunk. Yeah. Oh, this guy's fuck keeping an eye on him. As opposed to wow, it's really really funny. Give him another beer. It's the surroundings, isn't it? Yeah. That's why I feel a bit odd being that smashed in Serbian. Nah, fair enough. It depends on me. If I'm a big group of people, it's fine. But like, but again, I can't really recall a time I've really ever got. Sp- Previously, that smashed in Serban. Even that day we drank all day with the Serban group, I wasn't really that smashed. Oh, God, yeah. Or was I? I don't really remember. <laughs> Maybe I was. <laughs> Maybe I was smashed. I don't know. I can't. I, can't. I remember it being sunny as fuck. I have, I have shady memories of, of that entire evening. I yeah. remember enjoying, like, I, I like talking to Lisha and Craig and uh, Faye and a few other people as well. Yeah. Really, really Playing fun. Cards Against Humanity of Michelle. You've told totally you yeah, That was fucking dude. great. That was, was fucking so hilarious. Funny. But no, I don't. I was been again saying that when we and you would go up London, we saw it come up on our Facebook memories. Like, yeah, when we would go up London solely just to get smashed. It's a funny thing because it's like when that you're... was awesome. I'd happy. Oh yeah, I, no. actually, that I would. That I would. I'd rather do that than go get re-smashed in Serban. Do you do that after this? Rather than <laughs> rather than go get re-smashed in Serban. Yeah, I would much rather like me and you went up London and did it. Yeah. I prefer to do that as opposed to doing it in Serban. Which is that weird? Maybe because we'd move around in Serban. Maybe I don't know. We, We've gone up there before with the plan of going around to all these pubs getting smashed and we've gone to like two. Like, yeah, no, but we still then, got smashed. We, yeah, just, yeah. we just stayed there for like three hours. 
there was that time when we weren't too smashed and I was like last minute like let's shot whiskey to get us smashed and we ended up like rushing back to the cocks to get there for the pub quiz and oh was, my god and we yeah. got there and it was fucking heaving it yeah. was so fucking busy in there but then like I remember us on the bus being like really quiet and trying to stay awake and just being like yeah. oh, I'm fucking not into this yeah, mate, I, don't think, <laughs> yeah I don't think I even stayed that long when we got to the cocks no I think we did we did the quiz but we didn't even hang around to no. like fucking check out if we won or not but it happens, man. At that time when I went up London for uh, Jack's birthday and got proper smashed of like it was a great day of all the guys from the Cox. Yeah. And we got the train back to the pub in Kingston, and that train journey just did me, man. Everyone else was still buzzing, and I just nah. That's it. As soon as you I stop got, and you got, sit down, you're just like I got on the train and was just hung over instantly. Mate, like, I, rem- I remember when you and me went to Box Hill, and on the bus ride back, you and me both fell asleep. Yeah, <laughs> and I never do that. Yeah. I never we went to Eds, didn't we? Yeah. Thank God. <laughs> yeah, right. I was, we'd just be like, oh, I'm just going to bed now, man. <laughs> yeah, and I never fall asleep on buses. Yeah, for again, we had just walked up and down. I remember the time Box that we Hill. went up to London and Ed was just like, what are you guys doing? Oh, we went back to his. We yeah. came back. We, like, we were up in London for about three hours. Was that the time I left, I left my phone in the pub? Was that with you? I swear it was with you. Yeah, it was. It was today we met Jamie and stuff. I left my phone in that fucking pub, but we started we did the rap game in that time yeah i left it in there the spice of life or something that's I left right it yeah in there, and i had to run back to get it and the staff were all dicky about it yeah oh lose your like, phone did you mate oh yeah we do loads told of him, questions wouldn't yeah it? if you told them that we give them away to people who leave their phones and i was like all right mate fucking so what i left my phone i've been drinking yeah i remembered quickly didn't i it's it's not a very it's not a particularly dick move no that night i've been pretty fucked and was like fuck we've got to meet these guys again and I met everyone, and they were way more fucked than we were. Yeah. That sobered us up. Yeah, that sobered me up quick. That fucking train that, ride. Oh, the Jack train fell ride. over. Jack fell over. Jack fell over. Callum walked up and down the train, like announcing stuff. Jack fell down the stairs did at he? the pub. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he did, yeah. And then I just remember just seeing them drag his lifeless body <laughs> he up didn't the die. stairs. He didn't die. <laughs> uh, but he was, uh, he was not moving. Fuck, yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah, he was a mess that night. He, yeah, but we were just like we. Um, I remember it because well, we'd we'd gone off. We'd had a spliff. We'd had uh, like five guys and a bunch of drinks and stuff. And then we met <laughs> them, and they were just fucking Ooh. wrecked. And then like we left the bar that they were in, and Jamie said, "Let's go to this other bar." <laughs> and then we were on the train. Fucking me and Callum swapped clothing, and then he did like a fashion show for everyone on like a nine o'clock in the evening train. And he's just like, "Okay, everyone, I would like your attention, please." Like, which one? Which top <laughs> do you think looks better on me? Some people got involved. Some people put their hands up. Some people got involved. So some people, yeah. some people were just like, "Fucking hell!" Yeah, like, like, I've had a long eyes. day. I've had a long day, mate. Jack fell over on the tube, did he? Jack fell over on the tube trying to take a <laughs> selfie. <laughs> He went flying. He literally. I remember. I Jamie remember, like pulled him up. I really remember instantly. everyone on the tube gasping, and he yeah. was just like looking up, just like, "What happened? What, what happened? Where am I?" God yeah, damn. that was bad. That time me and you first went to London. Oh, fucking Jamie like roared in someone's face, yeah. and the police came along. Yeah, yeah, that was bad. That time me and you first. Sorry, listeners, we're just bouncing around. Drunken memories will probably make no sense, or it make for listening to you. But I remember the first time me and you went up to London when I got proper fucking smash we were really oh we were drunk. hammered in the intrepid fox weren't man, we man we were a mess i don't really remember much how did we survive i don't really remember we m- drank a long yeah, we time did. I, uh, we drank all day and the i don't remember the evening nah, there's pictures of you pissing off the fucking bridge yeah. Like the London Eye behind us, like there's you're like me, pissing uh, off the bridge. There's me uh, just laying on those you're steps on near floor. Trafalgar. Mate, there's, I swear we were in a kebab shop. We must have been because at some point during the night, you just suddenly appear with like a burger and chips, <laughs> and you're like, and you're like lying on the steps like you've fallen over. Yeah, and you're holding your burger, and you're just like pissing yourself, laughing, lying on your back on these steps in the middle of the street. And I'm like, we must have gone to a fucking shop and got food. Like I don't remember that. We can only hope. I remember. I rang Lee, and he was like... We got crazy lost for about three hours. Yeah, I rang Lee. But then that was enough time for us for like, sober up. So then when we finally knew where we were, we went to, like, we were, where we were near. We were near the Intrepid Fox, and we just got... 
that was when I said that guy that worked for the BBC. Met really the guy who smashed. worked for the BBC asked him asked him because he was BBC Wales. We asked him if he worked on Gavin Do- and Stacey and Doctor Who and Doctor Who. And then it was um, he actually worked with Lost Profits, didn't he? He, was he like did, a music yeah. guy. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, and then we started drinking uh, Jameson's and ginger ale. Yeah. And then that's when we got fucking hammered. Because he kept buying us drinks. Yeah. And there was like pictures of us in the coffin and shit. Like we we were so drunk. But I remember the. Vaguely remember bits of the train journey home. I remember leaving Servant Station. I was on the phone to Lee, and I was shouting. So I'm not shouting at. So somebody had a laptop, and I kept going, "I'm on my laptop! I'm on my laptop! I'm on my laptop!" Like a dick. And he was on the phone to me, being like, "Fucking stop it, Greg! Stop it! <laughs> Just shut up! Like you're gonna get your ass kicked! Stop it!" I was so loud. I got. I think I got the, the train went. I got the wrong stop. Yeah, like, you went to Woking, mate. I went to Woking or something. I ended up in Shepparton. Yeah, I went to Woking, then I had to call Lizzie and be like, I don't know. I mean, I mean, Wo- I don't even live with Lizzie then. Whoever I was, I could tell somebody where I was. Like your parents. I don't think I actually even was with Lizzie then either. Yeah, fuck. So I'm, yeah, fuck, man. I, was... I remember us as well. We were in that one pub and we saw Duncan from Blue outside, oh, and he we was like... outside for the longest time. So we started narrating his conversation. Yeah, and then the woman that were next to us was pissing herself. Oh god, because we were so loud. We were so loud. I swear to God, even he could have heard us. Oh man, fuck. Oh, good. Time. I might have to look for those photos again. There's the whole album of them on Facebook. Yeah, man. Man. Yeah, your friends are on Facebook. You should. That look was up. the. Um, there's a there's an album on there. There's like the one Greg of you and me in the heart in the heart mirror. Yeah, because yeah, it was yeah. Valentine's Day, wasn't it? That's why I remembered I wasn't with Lizzie. Because I remember she commented on it, being like, "Great photo," and I remember she, I used to just worked for then. I remember that. Fuck. I just worked with her. She wasn't yeah. even my wife or no, or that, bearer no, no, of my she children. Was, she was just Lizzie. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah, I'd happily do another fucking London piss up. Yeah. Like we did go again. That was there was something we did go at Christmas one time. We, that, we got lost. I remember I used a map on my phone for the first time. We were in like Carnival I know Street. London. It's just all fucked. There's like a picture of us behind the Christmas lights. I reckon you, me, you, me, and Ed should, uh, yeah, should go and have a London piss up. Yeah, yeah, I'll go for that. That'd like a proper fun. one. No yeah. tubes, no nothing. Just walk, drink. <laughs> no tubes. <laughs> just walk and fucking drink. Just us and a Zoom mic. We'll all have a, a really great time in a gay bar. Yeah, you can. Yeah, I have a great time in a gay bar. I have great times in a gay bar. <laughs> yeah. Get they fucked, they, get fucked right. Let me tell you. Right, just right. Those homo sapiens fucking love me. <laughs> they know at a party. <sighs> fucking hell. Well, um, I I have something to share with us. Oh, excellent. Uh, slightly, off, uh, slightly not on topic of anything, but a, uh, a an, an article here that was uh, could I, be amusing. I, I passed, this is the list I passed on to this you. This is the list, li- yeah. The Excellent. last, the last. I had a list, but I decided to pass it on to Joe. Now, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna repeat all of these because no, it is, it is 88 very British phrases that will confuse anybody who didn't grow up in the UK. And like, yeah, and I've been paying more attention to like people, the phrases people use recently for some reason. I don't know why. Someone, mm. oh, I wish someone used one recently, and I was like, fuck, I haven't heard that saying in years. And it's really just got me thinking. And then this article appeared, so it just seemed like destiny. Yeah, uh, they had to be read out. Okay, well, it starts off. It's, uh, every language has a few phrases that don't always translate well. And yes. the British English is the absolute <laughs> has some absolute corkers. <laughs> the team at the business in so blah, blah, blah. great linguistics. So basically, it is British phrases that might confuse you if you're not British. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> these are great. Already, it's brilliant. The first one: a few sandwiches short of a picnic. Oh, classic! I've heard that one for a long Banger, time, mate. Yeah, yeah. Someone that lacks common sense might be described as a few sandwiches, or not the brightest bulb in the box. Yeah, or a tool in the box. Oh, the brightest tool. bulb, a sharpest tool in the box. The phrase was the first documented in the BBC's Lenny Henry Christmas Special wow. in 1987. Wow, she's great fun, but she's a few sandwiches short of a picnic. Yeah, that's good. It is good. Fucking eight linear. Isn't mate. isn't there like Fucking clowns short of a circus as well? There's yeah, that could probably be one. Uh the second anorak. Oh yeah, for like geek. Although or nerd. no, 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 no. Like the, the jacket. Yeah, yeah, but for that's also what they oh I thought that was a slang for like Although it's more often used as a synonym for raincoat, an anorak is a something slightly different in a playground slang. Someone that's a little bit geeky, yeah, with I was right, strong yeah. interests or expertise in a niche area might be referred to as an anorak. Yeah, I got you. All right, Greg. All right, all right. Oh yeah, a classic Bagsy. Oh, like, like I want it, Bagsy. Yeah, yeah, dibs, dibs, dibs yeah, a shotgun. Bagsy that, yeah. Bagsy, Bagsy that. 
Bagsies, oh, I used to fucking hate that shit. School kids might call Bagsy on items from their friends' pat lunches. Fuck off. That's yeah, my, yeah, that's that's my, what do you mean, Bagsy? Yeah, Bagsy? That's my lunch. Fuck that. Does anyone want this Bagsy? <laughs> Bagsy, yeah, I was fucking hate the people with this Bagsy. I was like, that's mine, though. Uh, bender. Oh, yeah, classic. Get Is ready. he going on a bender or you are uh, a bender? A, a homosexual... Uh, right. no, it's, uh, <laughs> someone, someone on a spree of excessive drinking and mischief. Oh, that is well summed up. Benders often <laughs> last over 24 hours. <laughs> and so you might say that someone is on a weekend bender or a three-day bender. Two-day Two day bender! No, no surrender! surrender. <laughs> surrender. <laughs> I bumped into him towards the end of a four-day bender. He was a wreck. <laughs> Uh, oh, this one I like. Uh, blinder. I like the examples they're giving. Yeah, they do. I think they might have gone in uh, Urban Dictionary. Yeah, yeah. Oh, blinder. putting a blinder. Pull a, to pull a blinder involves achieving something difficult, faultlessly and skillfully. He scored a blinder of a goal. And that is the fucking photo, <laughs> oh, my it? friend. <laughs> that is it, the football. <laughs> <laughs> like, the ex- like the example. It's the only example I could think of, really. This is all. This is all for our uh, listeners outside of the UK. Yeah, yeah uh, of course. Your your Californias, your your Chicago's. Yeah. What's up, lab yeah. crew? Yeah. What's up? Uh, man? You know, just we're looking out for you, and also, you know, uh, Ben Monopoly in Singapore. <laughs> he needs refreshing. He just really needs reminding, yeah. if anything, you know. Um, that was boring. Uh, oh, Bob's your uncle. Oh, classic. I used to always say Bob's your uncle. The very British equivalent to, hey, presto. Yeah, Bob, or, Bob. Voila. That's good, actually. Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt. Oh, is it? Yeah. I remember my, my I, I have an uncle called Bob, and my friend, my friend John used to be like, Bob's your uncle. And I'm like, yes, he is, yes. I like this. This is good. Press down the clutch, put it into gear, then slowly ease off the clutch again. Bob's your uncle, you're driving. Oh, that's why when I was a kid, I used to get mixed up with Bob, Bob Monkhouse. I used to call him Bob the Monkhouse. I used to think that was his name. <laughs> Like, like, I couldn't shake it. Oh, it's just people say, piss Bob the Monkhouse. This is Bob Monkhouse. Like, it, that sound is so weird to me. Yeah. It has to be the Monkhouse. I'm the Monkhouse. Bob the Monkhouse. Um, bog standard. Oh, yeah. yeah bog standard. Something not, like, that okay. is bog standard is completely ordinary with no frills, <laughs> embellishments, or adults. She had a bod, bog standard vagina. Oh. It's true. <laughs> oh, Jesus, Joe. Yeah. Um, sorry about that. Yeah, it's all right. Uh, no, I was apologizing to the... Well, uh, I'm not what I need to apologize to. Uh, uh, budge up. What, does in that move along? An informal way of asking someone to make room where they are sitting. But so I mean, but job, I never really thought about it. <laughs> never really thought about that as being like a classic British sort of saying. Oh, this is this is a def- this is well British. Builder's tea. Oh, right, yeah. The name of a strongly brewed cup of English breakfast tea yeah. with milk. The way the tea is most commonly drunk in the UK. Classic. A bacon sandwich and a builder's tea. <laughs> now that's a proper breakfast. Meat roll and a builder's tea. Builders tea to meat roll. Yeah. Oh, butchers. Yeah. Have a butchers. Have a look. Butchers hook is Cockney rhyming slang for look. Yeah, Therefore, yeah. if you're having a butchers, oh, you're shit. having a look at it's something. That's what it is. Butchers hook. Yeah, Fuck, man. I never really made that connection before, but I've heard it all the time as a kid. Butchers. Have a butchers. I've said it before. Have a butchers at this. I love this. is great. Cack, butchers. Cack handed. Oh, yeah. Like a task stupid. performed in an awkward or uncomfortable fashion, usually clumsily, would describe. <laughs> Cack is an old fashioned slang for feces. <laughs> I like that. Love it. I like oh, that. yeah, we got it, haven't you? Cheeky. Cheeky. A way to describe a restaurant in... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> an act which could be deemed as impolite or shameless, but for some reason comes across as funny and endearing. Nice. Joe's children are absolute rascals. They tied my shoelaces together this last week. Those cheeky monkeys. Did it say Joe's kids? Yeah, it does. <laughs> funny. Chinese whispers. Really? I'm only in C. I'm going to have to start skipping. You have to do all of that. I thought you were skipping. Yeah, it's, I'm only in C. Right. Chinese whispers are rumours that have been circulated and watered down until they are vaguely yeah. resemble the truth. I like, well, I, I like ones that are more like butchers. I, yeah, I'm trying to find the most like the most English. So yeah, yeah. Uh, well, this is, this is you perfect. Remember? Chinwag. Oh, yeah, have a chat. Yeah, a good yeah. old chinwag is a good chat, catch up or gossip with someone. And it makes sense, your chinwags. I keep seeing ones that I just think are like standard fucking slang, but they're probably are. They probably squeeze eighty-eight. Chock a block, eighty-eight. They probably like squeeze that out. Oh, yeah. Chock a block though, yeah. Chock a blocks up there. Yeah, Clanger, yeah. no. Clanger, yeah. Jo- oh yes, absolute cods wallop. Oh fucking had that one a while. Something untrue, often made up nah, for dramatic effect. A nah, bunch of fucking cods wallop. That's Although good, no one wallop. is completely sure of the word's origins, it would derive from the words cods and wallop. <laughs> <laughs> Great work there. What else have we got? Cream crackered, obviously knackered. Knackered, yeah, yeah. I got that one. Uh, curtain twitcher. Oh, hello. Someone I like, I like curtain twitcher. Masturbate. A nosy neighbour. <laughs> often, 
Why are you wanking on your Ooh, fucking... switching her curtains. <laughs> I love this. It just says, and then picture, Dench. <laughs> oh, <it's> truly Dench. <laughs> An adjective used to advocate something that is impressive yeah, or well, agreeable. Yeah, that was a fucking song, wasn't Dench it? Dench is the equivalent the fucking... of solid or cool. Yeah. That's, oh, that's, Dench fam. That's a new one, though. Fuck that one. I'm going to make spaghetti carbonara for dinner. Dench. Yeah, fuck that one. <laughs> that's too new. Oh, dear. Uh, what we got here? Faff. Oh, I, I use faff a bit a lot. Of faff. I like faff. Faffing about. I like faff. Fag. Ooh. The uh, homosexual term. Uh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, America, uh, that is a bit... I a, think gay, I, a gay cigarette. I think America is on that one now because of all the fucking piss taking about it. In the They've gym. absolutely locked yeah, on, yeah. yeah. I always like... You know the, um, the, the English guy in Community... Yeah, yeah. When there's that, there's a bit where there's something involving pizza, and you go, Plenty. "Oh, I love pizza," or as we call it in England, Italian fannies. <laughs> <laughs> like, we don't call it that. Um, I think this this out of anything should be this is the most common slang word. I think. Okay. Fit. Oh right, yeah. She's fit. Yeah. Still hear that one a lot. Yeah. I remember like fit and safe kind of came around the same sort of time. True. Uh, full Monty. Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah. Go node. Uh. No, you do to do something oh, fully. Right. Not to get naked. You do the full money. Oh, right. oh the full money, mate. Oh, okay. It's like I've got to go. The, uh, the got to go to the mechanics. It needs a raw. It needs, needs, needs the full, the full Monty. Monty. Yeah, it's a big breakfast as well, isn't it? That's it. The full Monty. Our Christmas dinner had everything from sprouts to Yorkshire puddings. The full Monty. If you're going to have a roast, have the full Monty. Yeah, I'm with you. Not a naked man. Yeah. Did you see that thing recently about apparently Toby Carvery are now delivering roast dinners? No. That must have broken Mum's heart. Yeah, I didn't hear that. I think that's a terrible. I went for a carvery recently. Oh, really? Where at? Birthday. Um, there's a Toby. Um, I think I don't know if it is a Toby. Jug. It's one of the main Toby. Ones. Toby jug it's, mug. It's um, oh. it's not far from my house. It's on the way to Worcester Park, but it's more Tolworth. It's kind of like not too far away from Tolworth Tower, yeah. but you walk down towards like Epsom, and then there's a like, left there. Right, right, right. Um, we walked there from my house for my dad. We we go there when it's my dad's birthday. And we walked from home to go. Oh, there. we should go sometime. Yeah, it's nice. If you, you've got a book, man. It's fucking heaving on a Sunday. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, it's, it's fucking, fucking Sunday, dude. Yeah, but that's when the carvery is. It's fucking heaving. Yeah, I'll go for Sunday that. Carvery, man. Let's go for a Saturday. We have. Um, Let's go tomorrow. <laughs> we, I, we were like, I've only been a couple times. When I go with Dad, I get the, uh, I follow his lead, and I go for the extra large, all meats. Yes. And there's like five fucking corpses. On yes. Fucking hack up, mate. It's yes. Big. It's big. It's big. Let's do that. Tastes Let's fucking absolutely great. Absolutely do that. It's good. Um, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna go through the entire alphabet. No, it's just like, yeah, and then. I'm only up to G. Uh, my G. Um, but this is this is a fitting one. Geezer. Geezer, that's classic. Fucking, a geezer is a man that could be <laughs> described as suave or dapper and is often suited and booted. Men from the East London are commonly referred to as geezers. That guy's got such sagger. He's a proper geezer. He's a proper geezer. He's a proper geezer. <laughs> give me a tinkle on the blower. Nice. Yeah, give me a ring on the phone. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Just to show that you knew what it meant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> For the other listeners who wouldn't know. Yeah. Gutted. Classic. Not to be confused with literally being disemboweled. No, that's a someone, that someone that says they're gutted is devastated or extremely upset. That was one of my worst things at school. I hated, like in like junior school, people, when that word became popular, I fucking hated people being like, gutted. Why? Gutted. Be gutted. Gutted. Mate, this oh, one's, God, this one's new for me. Okay. It just says Hank Marvin. Oh, starving. Are you kidding me? No. I'm Hank Marvin, means I'm hungry, yeah, I'm yeah, ravenous. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's good, that one. You get out to eat, I'm Hank Marvin. Yeah, yeah, they did a, one of those cheap, you know those fucking chicken bites, so you can, chicken, little chicken bites you buy at like, the refrigerated bit area at the supermarket. Yeah. They did an advert where all the kids at their school looking like Hank Marvin holding guitars. <laughs> and, they, and, and, and they'd all get home and they wouldn't turn back till they'd had one of these from the fridge. And the mum would be like, oh, you look like, you look Hank Marvin. And like, they all would be Hank Marvin. That's weird. The singer. I'm going to end it, end it on this one. Okay. Um, maybe, maybe we can carry on this another time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. Uh, we're only up to L. We're only halfway right. through the alphabet. Excellent. But, uh, I didn't realise it was out. They'd done it I that way. Yeah, no, it's all alphabetical. Uh, a nice fitting one, this. Leg it. Nice. Get out of there. Make a run for it. Run away. Scarper. Get I always like Scarper, mate. Yeah, Scarper yeah. is Scarper a nice is one. Good. And I like um, Scatter. 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 Separate. Don't chase me. That's when all the lights came on. So we legged it. <laughs> we're all busted fucking hell getting out the driveway scatter 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 me balls yeah man I think there's uh, make, wait making random words past tense to mean drunk what is that what scatter is Brits are known for favouring a drink or two so much so that almost any noun can be used to substitute for drunk 
in his stand-up show, British comedian Michael McIntyre, <laughs> British comedian Michael McIntyre said, "You can actually use any word in the English language and substitute it to mean drunk. It works. Examples include trolleyed, smashed, and gazeboed. <laughs> I was absolutely car parked last night. <laughs> it's true, actually. It's fucking proper, yeah, that, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. yeah, I was absolutely covered door last night. <laughs> I was cheese toasted, mate. Jesus Christ. I was hanging rail last night. I was completely trouser pressed last night. Oh, mate, hey, tell me. Uh, absolutely <laughs> trouser pressed. I, I had so many beers, I was utterly wardrobed, mate. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> wardrobed is good. I, like I was wardrobed. wardrobed, mate. That's good. You won't even believe That's it. Good. I was in a right old That's fucking good. state. That's good. Fucking hell. I, I was thought, fannied last yeah, fannied, night. Yeah, fannied, yeah. I think fannied, that, that works, actually. That might even be mentioned, used, fannied. I was top drawed last night. Let oh, me that, tell you that, mate. I was top drawed I'm just last thinking night. of fucking like, appliances. <laughs> I was garlic bread last night. <laughs> <laughs> I was oven baked. <laughs> I was, I was gently stirred till simmering. I was cheese grated <laughs> last night. Oh, man, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Oh, well played. I was Black & Decker workstationed. Fucking Black & Decker. That reminds me of being a kid, Black & Decker. Why? I don't know. I just remember seeing that they were like the tools. I just remember them being Phillips. around all the time. Phillips. Always Phillips. I just remember them being around all the time. Always And there was like Phillips. the kids' toys, Black & Decker kids' toys. Yeah. All the Argos adverts used to be Black & Decker, Black & Decker, and fucking curries it's and shit. It's a magical place with ah, a home Toys R Us, the fallen there, homies. With toys in a million all I went into the, I went into some toy shops yesterday. Oh, yeah? Yeah, just wandering around with Indiana and Kingston. When was, uh, when was the last time you were in Hamley's? Um, you've been in. Uh, you've, been have you in, taken with Indiana? Yet? I have been in with Indiana, but she was a bit too young to really get it. She go, mate. Go closer to Christmas. Oh, mate. It's all going to have a day in London. We care. This is what we, just, what we keep, we keep saying. Yeah, but we all can't be asked, can we? It's got to be busy. It's too quiet. It's too yeah. busy. Like, ah. I don't want to go to Winter Wonderland, but I'll go and have a fucking day up in Winter London. Won- oh, the way I've never been. No, I don't want to. Everyone go. keeps telling me to go. Like I just like, Why? nah. Loads of people go. It's so it's so cliche, isn't it? It's it's just, I, just, I just can't really afford it. it sounds so expensive. It's cold. Toys are us. I know like, loads of people go fucking Winter Wonderland. I know people that worked there as well. No. I don't want it. Me. I don't, but I'm no, not... Hamley's not what I saying. I went to the toy shop yesterday. Uh, I went to, um, what the fuck's it called? Toy Factory? No, Toy Factory. No, Entertainer. Oh, that's what I meant. Yeah, yeah. I went to the one in um, Bentall Centre. And I also went to the upstairs toy department in Bentall's. Man, toys are weird, man. Uh, it's they are. 90% of it is now... These weird doll things for kids, like there's the, Pops. there's the LOL dolls. No, they were they were only a small section in there. Outraged. They were like a tiny little bit, mate. Greg outraged Armstrong. I, was outraged. <laughs> I only said Greg Armstrong. outraged. I only said Jackson. <laughs> mate, it, mate, it was it was um it was all like this is weird LOL dolls. My niece is really into what. And LOL. They're called LOL dolls, and they're they're quite a lot of money, but they're just it's like you don't really know what ones you're gonna get. Yeah, and she's crazy for them. All the kids are, man. You go in there, everything's LOL dolls, and these things called fingerlings, and you can't believe you have a kids kids toy called a fingerling. No, nah, how do you, it, how are they getting away with that? But it's like I'm putting my finger up here for listeners. <laughs> like, some of them are like toy sloths that like hold hang on not to your his finger. middle finger he's not giving you the middle finger They're like toy sloths like hang on to your finger Ew. but it's all these weird little things like that like toys and you get to toys like, have uh, evolved since and you get we to were like, kids man you literally get to what I thought toys were you get to like the one little while and that's like all the big wrestling toys and all the Marvel toys yeah. and, like, and like the big Transformers. The figurines. The big Transformers and shit. And they've got the wrestling wrestle buddies that you can like wrestle with and oh, shit. Oh, yeah, like, man. Like, and punch and stuff. Like, but then the rest of it is then the rest of it's board games. But it's like the majority of it now is just these weird little fiddly one-hit wonder toys. That's like, because everything that kids play now is an app. Yeah, I guess so. But these these things have that as well. Like Like... But yeah, these LOL dolls, mate, are fucking nuts. Like, I can't even really describe them. My uh, my sister uh, informed me recently that they they went to like a like a little mini weekend break, and um, I think it was Margate they went. Right. Okay. And um, they uh, they saw like a my my nephew saw like a model train. Yeah. Fucking loved it. Excellent. Good work. That's old school shit, man. Yeah, like, man. No one's like no one's out there giving like bare fucks about fucking like model trains but he would just saw it apparently went home 
and like fucking turned all this Lego into like some massive nice. city and stuff. It's still out there, man. Things like that are still out there for kids, and they still are enjoyed. Lego's still a fucking I think, big thing. Like, there's, there's definitely, there's, def- there's, there's this thing <laughs> in, within children that like makes them want to just yeah. build. I mean, my mum, awesome. my mum bought like, the big like kid blocks. Yeah, and dude. Indiana tips them out and plays with them. Yeah, like she loves it. When we went to science museum, we went to like their like playroom. And they had this huge bit, like a big pulley system and then like, like second floor tier. And you could like pull like a pulley system to let take big foam Lego bricks up and down and Sam and like little fucking like bean bags. Yeah. And in general, was literally just piling up all these Lego bricks. Huge they were, but like, but like soft. And then she would like put them all into a wheelbarrow and walk around with them. Like just, that's like Lego always has that appeal. It's, like, uh, it's, it's almost, it's, doesn't, it's not that it trains them, but it's like... Uh it sort of instills something in their mind yeah. that is a, uh, a a familiar task, yeah. if you will. Just building. I used to love fucking building Lego. Yeah, man. man. I used to fucking love. I used Lego. to love the um, in early learning center the wooden the wooden train track thing. Yeah, yeah, I used yeah. To yeah fucking yeah. love that shit. Couldn't like I would like <laughs> that was sorry. like mega baby toy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was like mega. Oh god, that's so boring. Joe. That was like mega baby toy. Yeah, 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 yeah. The that fucking the wooden train set. But my brother used to have the Thomas Tank Engine train set, and we used to have like the floor mat you'd put out. I fucking love that shit, we've, man. We've spoken about it before, like in the sense of like the like the uh, when we were younger, like the big the big sort of changes in like toys. Yeah, yeah. For me, obviously, Ghostbusters. Yeah. Then it was Ninja Turtles. Yeah. Then it was Jurassic Park. Those are the top three. Whereas now I more appeal. I now like the adult versions of those. So that like that company like NECA who made oh, like, like the, the parody pornos. Make those, no, 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 no. <laughs> who make like the amazing figurines of my child. Like, they make those incredible Jur- Jurassic big, Pork. They make those big incredible like turtle figures that literally look like they. Oh yeah, out real of life. The first like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, they look incredible. They, now I'm more like, wow, look at those, and they're like models, or they're, they're redoing like. Captain Bucky O'Hare and stuff, it's things like that, awesome. and they just look amazing. Like, mate, I was, you know what? I was genuinely surprised because they got that fucking Pikachu detective fucking film coming out. Mm-hmm. Pikachu looks fucking awesome. He looks great. I finally realised that he's actually fluffy. Yeah, yeah, he looks great. Because <laughs> I watched that trailer, not I don't know much of Pokemon. Jason it's and weird, Gary, weird that my, it's Ryan Reynolds. My though. brothers were mad into it. I Weird. never was. I was a bit too old for it by that point. It's like I even felt like when I was younger, I felt too old for Power Rangers. Yeah, yeah I did. Too. When Power Rangers came out, I felt too old for it. But still, but then I had, <laughs> but then I had recess, so yeah, yeah. it's fine. Um, but like Pokemon, like I was never into it, so I don't know much about it. So when I saw nah. the trailer, I was like, "So is he a detective?" Uh, even I knew that wasn't the, like, what the, the story. Even I knew that wasn't like meant was like the, the story like that I was aware of. Pikachu is like bigger. Japan's like. Mascot. Oh yeah, he's big. Yeah, I mean they've got loads of mascots, haven't they? Yeah, like you know Japanese piss they've girls. Got, that sort of thing. <laughs> got hundreds, but yeah, Pikachu's a big one. Japanese piss girls. But yeah, like no, yeah, he, he does look good in the trailer. They, the Pokemon's themselves do look it's good. It's just I don't. It's I think Ryan Reynolds is a really weird choice. I don't know. What do I, I mean, he's I think he's meant to have a voice anyway, is he? So yeah, he's supposed to be like. No way. But he does something. But that's how he sounds to everyone else in the tra- in the film. Have you seen the trailer? No, I watched like a snippet ah, trailer. See, like Jay, a, see, I like, fuck so, off. So, so he talks and fucking Will Smith's kid. It is Will Smith's kid, right? Is it? Nah. Is he? His surname is Smith. Nah, that, the kid in the trailer's got eyebrows. Right. He was in Jurassic Park, but his surname is Smith. That really annoyed me that Jaden Smith shaved off his eyebrows because now I don't it, know what emotions I he's it feeling. Was, I thought it was the younger one. I might be wrong. Um, anyway, the kid in it is like, oh, what are you saying? And Pikachu was like, what, you can hear me? He's like most people just hear pika pika, yeah. And then like he's like it no, cuts and to like then a woman. yeah, he turns to me yeah, can, can you understand this? And she's like pika pika, like yeah. So yeah, they come. Everyone's like, an idiot. Done it that way. Um, yeah, yeah, fucking. In the age of fucking like t- toys and TV and stuff, will be like ramping up. My childhood figures now are like, now adult versions of those fucking figures, yeah. and like Funko Pops as well, adult versions, but. They will build these new films, like say Pokemon's. You know, I don't know much Pokemon, but at some point, I'm sure that film will fall across my eyes. Yeah. But also, they're redoing Master of the Universe. Like, oh, are they fucking really? Yeah, yeah. Like all these other wow. things are being picked up again. That's interesting. Yeah. You know, what? I want to see real life. I want to see. I want to see real life Captain Planet. They've been they've been threatening that and Thunderbirds for years. Thunderbirds, I'm not too. No, they did. No, a, not, they fun, did not, thund- fun, not Thunderbirds. They Thundercats, did Thunderbirds. Thundercats, Thundercats, Thundercats. Oh, Thundercats! I'm not into that. Yeah, I'd be up for Thundercats. I used to love Thundercats. 
I'd be I'd I'd like to see what Captain Planet looked like in a real life. Sort well, of there's thing. that really horrible one with fucking what's his name? The guy who played uh, War Machine in the Avengers when he Don plays Cheadle. it. Yeah, have you not seen him as Captain Planet? He's... No, I'm not going to say it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> have you not, mate? If you mate, have you never seen that fucking that 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 fucking thing he did? No, mate, it's great. With Captain Pla- him as Captain Planet. Yeah, he's Captain Planet. Fuck, I haven't. Right. Maybe, maybe we'll well, it looks like we're going to be finishing up some shoujo shit. Yeah, maybe we'll stop and watch that. <laughs> so time has passed and we actually did go watch a little bit of that Captain Planet thing and it was really weird. It's so weird, dude. <laughs> it's so weird. I like, I like Don Cheadle, though. He's good. Yeah, he's, a, he's embracing the role. Um, there were so many parts oh, to it. Like, Save the planet, motherfucker. <laughs> Sounded like P. Diddy. Yeah, that was good. Like, vote and die. Uh, but vote du- and die. <laughs> but during our break, we decided to do a wanky wank. Where, oh, of course, mate. we take a, a piece of movie dialogue, remove key words randomly with those found on PornMD's live search, which is called a live search you of You are porn. welcome. We've been searching porn and it shows us what's been said. I don't think enough people are grateful for Wankity Wank. No. And we put a lot of effort into this. Oh, yeah, we do. It <laughs> takes us a good 10 minutes to prepare. So... This is Wankity Wank. Bow, chicka, bow. Yeah. Oh. I'm on the male sex. These are my male sex. Oh, yeah. Joe, what have you got for us? Uh, I've decided. <laughs> what I've decided this is going to go well. Yes. I've decided to uh, take uh, one of Rorschach's journal entries from uh, The Watchman. Of course, The Watchman. The Watchman. Based of course. on the graphic novel, The, the Watchman. Watchman. <laughs> so this is, uh, this is Rorschach's journal. Okay, let's go. Dog carcass in the alleyway this morning. Tire tread on bird's stomach. This city's afraid of me. I've seen it. Fish and pussy. The streets are extended gutters. And the gutters are full of... Large red dildos. And when the trains... (laughs) (laughs) You can do it, you can do it. And when the drains finally scab over, and all the sex slave training schools will drown, the accumulated filth of all their come without touching and panty dead <laughs> will foam up around their waists, and all the grandma porn and cock doctors will look up and shout, save us, and I'll whisper, piss humiliation. <laughs> 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 now the whole world stands on the brink Staring down into bloody Fucking drugs crack whore <laughs> All those South African prostitutes And <laughs> Piss <laughs> Piss South, South African prostitutes and <laughs> Okay Oh, Piss pee boobies. <laughs> <laughs> That's what twelve-year-olds type into Google. <laughs> Piss pee boobies. <coughs> <coughs> All the South African hookers and piss pee boobies and very dirty mature women. <laughs> and all of a sudden, nobody can think of anything to say. Beneath me, this awful city. It screams like an abattoir full of golly whoppers. <laughs> and the night reeks of fornication and elbow deep fisting. <laughs> uh, I knew it was going to be good when you lost it. Fuck, I've never, I've never <laughs> lost it that bad before. Do you know what I mean? boobies. <laughs> I read boobies and was like, fuck, I said boobies. Wait, Fuck man. I'm gonna t- I'm gonna go on a porn engine and just type in boobies. Man. I wanna just see what comes up. That. Boobies. Fucking hell, that was great. I could barely get through that. Mate, Fuck. That could easily be the best one that man, we've done. That was definitely the most fun to do. <laughs> that was brilliant. That was definitely the most fun to do. What was one of the words I pronounced wrong, I didn't really get what it was. Whether gully whoppers. Gully wampus. Gully, gully, gully wampus. G U double L Y. Yeah. Gully wampus. Yeah. <laughs> what does that mean? Just Google that real quick. Gully. I didn't get that one. There's a gully wampus, which is W U M P U S. I mean, that could be. Yeah, that could be it. Let's have a look, shall we? W O M P U S. Urban yeah. Dictionary. 
Oh, it's an urban dictionary. Hang on. What is it? Was it mean? An affectionate term generally used between lovers. It has multiple meanings, but it is generally used when things are starting to get steamy. It can also be used as a pet name when speaking to a significant other. Chicks dig it. <laughs> babe, you're a gully wampus. Wow, babe, that's so hot. Hashtag affectionate terms. Hashtag relationships. Hashtag lovers. Hashtag gully wampus. Hashtag. Well, that's weird. Hashtag. There we go. We're learning things together. Get a gully wampus mug for your yeah. daughter-in-law. <laughs> Beatrix. <laughs> What is wrong with fucking Urban Dictionary, man? <laughs> Trend- oh, man? Oh, should we have a... Hang on, wait. There's like a... There's a For November 16th, there's a trending right now, top 30 on uh, <laughs> on Urban Dictionary. Really? Greg, pick a number between 1 and 30. 13. Interesting. Ratioed. <laughs> Being revealed as an idiot on Twitter by having a high ratio of comments to likes and retweets. At Candy's Bergen MP was totally ratioed in her tweet last night. Wow. That was rubbish, Greg. That was rubbish. Choose again. Um, 26. Common decency. <laughs> Respect for people around you. <laughs> what you? I want to see this one. This is a te- what is this? Teacher's bladder. What? The ability to prevent oneself from requiring the need to urinate less often than every 12 hours. <laughs> <laughs> I quite like that. That's good. That is good. I'm down with that. Also, it brings us into the show. Yeah, man. I think we're out of it. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. <laughs> I don't, again, I don't really know what this was about. I guess Merry Christmas. In, in our most uncr- Merry? In our you mo- did it again, in- mate. That is like the second year in a row you said Merry Christmas. <laughs> <It's a> Merry. <laughs> you said Merry. That was, that's not even a name on the list. <laughs> Merry. Merry Christmas. There, there are, I, say, I say every time, there are Merry Christmases out there. I saw one on this morning once. Just need to interrupt quickly. Uh, sunny side up is a definition where uh, sunny side up is intentionally not flushing the toilet and leaving a massive turd <laughs> and toilet paper with poop smears side facing up. Yeah. This is done to irritate your significant other or to achieve that trendy gas station restroom ambience for your own bathroom. Wife. Jesus Christ. You nasty, gross bastard. You didn't flush the toilet and left the toilet paper sunny side up. Delightful. Oh, man. Well, I've been Joe sunny side up, Jackson. (laughs) I've been Craig piss poo boobies, Armstrong. (laughs) Oh, dear. The All Seeing Guys podcast is part of Podnose, the UK's leading independent entertainment podcasting network. For episode archives of The All Seeing Guys and all of the shows on the network, visit us at www.podnose.com. You can also follow us on Twitter via at Podnose or send us an email via admin at podnose.com. Podnose.